Hi friends, uh, once again we are Rajkiran uh, for you for uh, CAT and GAT uh, preparation for NID and NAFT. Uh, so we are going to talk about today uh, perspective drawing of a different um, uh, uh, kind. You know, earlier uh, if you have seen that there was one point perspective which I had uh, given a demo, but today we will uh, talk about two point perspective. First, uh, let me uh, introduce you to a few lines and few shades basic. So, same way, we generally try to understand in a very simplistic way of what perspective actually means to us. Right? So, generally, we don't go into clumsy ideas, we just make a very small structure of a uh, square, square or rectangular form okay? and try to use this into our dimension. Okay? So uh, in earlier uh, class, you must have noted that I have given you perspective lines like this. There are parallel lines. You have a box, you have a product, shape, whatever. Okay, and this area is converging into one point. So this this is the angle. Okay, say so you uh, extend this line, and say so you want to extend this line to a particular narrow. Your way particular depending upon the size. Of the structure or the length of the uh, design diagram you prefer to draw. Okay, so this is like one one point you must have uh, known in last uh, chapters. Uh, this is one point perspective. Okay, here you can see the bottom is narrow. Now, say for example, you want to give a different perspective altogether to this. Okay, so uh, this is like one point. Okay, I would like to create another illusion of perspective on this side. So let me see what are the other Perspective possibilities. Can uh, should I should I uh, extend it here? Should I extend it here? Should I extend it here? Okay. So they are all meeting right at the this junction. Okay. So you need to draw a line over here. You need to extend this line over here. But you see that there is another elevation of the product which is formed right now. You see. I erase this out, I erase this out, I erase this tiny out. You find that I have two narrow, narrow vision. This this vision is also narrowing down. Okay, and this is also vanishing out here. So there are two different points which are you know, created out of uh, a single uh, uh, product. Okay, so uh, the, the planes over here are, you know, they are not parallel. Okay, only this line is supposed to be parallel. And the other lines are not parallel at all. Okay, they converge at a middle point, right? So this kind of perspectives are possible when you have a, a huge product, okay, and your uh, point of view, your elevation is of a very huge distance, okay. So you maintain to draw something on distance, then this kind of illusion will definitely come. Or uh, otherwise, then uh, this uh, illusion of perspective happens only. Uh, uh, from a camera uh, uh, photography angle because they have a uh, curvaceous lens okay from the curvaceous lens you, if you try to take a picture which is small it converges you know it converges and when you uh, have a distance then it doesn't converge much so if you want to have a small product you want to draw dry perspective okay you must take uh, it uh, uh, from a camera uh, shot, you know, if you take a shot from the camera, you get to see the convergence, the perspective. But if this product is uh, kept away, you know, you don't see uh, any perspective as such. But it's, it gives uh, a different uh, appeal if you from uh, naked eye, if you see a, a structure like this closer to you, it doesn't give you perspective. But if a uh, bigger object is kept, and your distance is far, it actually converges and gives you, gives you perspective. Like say for example, this looks like a, a building, you know, a huge building. You see, the roads you see, so you can see the road, you can see the big building, and they all appear to be in perspective, because it has a very huge depth. It has a huge depth, and our eyes actually tend to understand it in our perspective because there is a vanishing point automatically appearing. Okay? For smaller product, when you see something like this, you want to draw it doesn't appear in perspective. So you have to understand where to give perspective. For a room dimension, for a space, this perspective will definitely work. Okay? Say for example, you have a room over here where the 
fill in the space you see this? so there is a corridor here there is a corridor here you have this as a wall ok and it has one perspective this wall has perspective this is one point of this side this is another side ok so this this appears into two point perspective as you see but this this structure becomes flat it is not a three dimensional structure so if you want to turn turn the room into an angle say for example like this Then this room, you will find that there are different kind of perspective to this room. That is, it, it is having one validation point there, another validation point here. You know, the different validation point comes like the room structure, the layout. Okay. So for all analytical studies, you must follow a lot of design diagram. You must sit in different places. Okay, and try to observe. The more you observe, the more you realize about the perspective. Perspective is all about the sense of depth. So in this product, there are two, uh, two side of perspective, two point perspective I just referred to, and here also on a flat diagram there are two different sides. So there are two different perspective on a flat diagram. Okay, here on a particular wall, if this happens to be a wall, okay, a wall, right? And this happens to be a window over here, okay, of a wall, of a room, and here if you see that there's another door over here, so they all act as a perspective over here. You find there are a lot of perspectives like right here. This is one perspective because this floor is narrowing to one junction. This wall is narrowing to one uh, vanishing point here. So there are multiple point perspectives automatically it appears to be. Okay, so it depends. Like here also, this area narrows down. So this is one, this is two, this is three. And the top view will also have another perspective. So there are different perspectives on a particular uh, plane or a particular room size. Depending upon how you want to interpret your diagram, design diagram. So maturity is what like you must see some architectural drawing also, some uh, building space plan also, so more uh, ideas apart from just a small product shape. Okay. So you need to uh, really uh, 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 you know experiment out and you really have to uh, research a little bit more in depth about perspective drawing. Okay. Uh, go online, check out a lot of designs. Reward the books, okay, and keep practicing from your lives in the uh, around, okay. Happy learning, till we meet again in the next video. Thank you.